Notepad is Foundry's rich text editor. It allows you to create reports using visualizations and metrics from multiple applications in Foundry, such as Quiver, Contour, and Code Workbooks, all while adding nicely formatted commentary and even equations. You can also send emails with an attached PDF of your notepad on a schedule. Today, we'll be making this notepad, which is an analysis of how the shops and restaurants at our notional theme park are performing. Let's get started. Starting from anywhere in Foundry, you'll type Control J and search for Notepad. We'll click on Notepad, create a blank document, give it a name, and hit Save. Here we are in a blank notepad. At this point, we're going to assume that you already have charts in Contour or Quiver or Code Workbooks. So we're going to be adding in charts specifically from Quiver and Contour. So we'll start by going and grabbing some metric cards from Quiver. There are two ways to do this, and I will show you both. First way is we go to the Quiver analysis, go to the card that we want to bring into Notepad, Go to the upper three dots, hit copy for notepad, go back to the notepad and control V to paste it in. We'll want to add the other one right next to it. So we'll click the plus sign here to make space for the other card. Then I'll return to quiver, hit the upper three dots, copy for notepad, return to notepad, and paste it there. Now at this point, the cards are probably taking up more space than they need. So to make them shorter, I can click on each card and resize it. Next, I'll add the other chart from Quiver. The second way to add charts from Quiver is to type a forward slash, select Quiver Analysis Chart, insert, then you have to select the Quiver analysis that you want to pull from, hit select, then you have to pick which chart you specifically want to render. So we'll select chart, this is the one that we want, and now we have our Quiver chart. Lastly, I'm going to go get the pivot table that I made in Contour. So I'll navigate to Contour, Go to the upper three dots, hit copy for notepad, return to notepad and control V to paste it in. And now I have my contour pivot table in notepad. At this point, note that if I click on these visualizations, I can see the source, which means I can go click on it and explore for myself. Same with the charts from Quiver. Now, I might want to add some commentary and a title. To add a title, I can go to the top, type one hashtag to make a markdown title. And now that I've added a title, maybe I want to add some commentary at the end. After I've written some commentary, I can use AIP to edit the text, to change the tone and translate it and check my grammar. Now that I've written some commentary, I might want to have a colleague have a look at it, in which case I can add a comment. I can use the comment functionality to collaborate with colleagues and get their attention. By tagging a colleague in this comment, they'll receive an in-platform notification. The last thing I might want to do is say I'm seeing that this particular retail location, Wildlife Wonders, is having the highest spend by guest. So I might want to take a more detailed look at it by adding an object card for this specific object. To do that, I'll type the forward slash, select object card at the bottom, insert, look for the retail establishment object type, and select wildlife wonders. Now, I have an object card displaying some more details about wildlife wonders. And now, we've created our notepad. 
there's a couple of things that we might want to do at this point. In its current state, the visualizations in this notepad will update when their backing data sources get new data. But say we like this view and want to retain these visualizations in their current state. In this case, on each one of these visualizations, I can hit lock data. And I'll do this for every visualization for which I want to freeze the data. Then, if I look at the actions drop down here, we can look at some other things that I might want to do with this notepad. First, I can export this as a PDF. I can also release the document. If you want to share this with someone, but don't want them to be able to edit it, you can release the notepad, which will prevent other edits from being made. And now the notepad is locked from being changed unless I unlock it. Additionally, I can also save this as a notepad template, which will allow me to create reports that look like this, but have different data inputs. Additionally, you can use AIP functions and templates to generate the content of the report. Or let's say that you need to send your colleague this report on a weekly basis. You can use automation to send them a weekly email that has this report attached. So in summary, Notepad can be used in conjunction with other applications to streamline the experience of displaying and distributing your work. This concludes our introduction to Notepad. Thanks for watching and we hope you found it helpful. Be sure to stay tuned for future tutorials.